Come to the last day of this week and a, a brief visit to some of the, the Psalms. Today we're going to look at Psalm 139, which I know for many people is one of their favourite Psalms. When was the last time that you played hide and seek? Hopefully it wasn't too long ago. It's a great game, isn't it? Uh, my children love to play it, particularly when we visit a new place or a new house or go on holiday somewhere. Over Christmas we had a children's party here in the building and it it was great to play a game of hide and seek here. There's lots of places to hide. But it quickly became obvious where the children were hiding. There was fidgeting and giggling, and generally the children couldn't stay still. All we had to do as people who were seeking was to stand still and listen and watch. We would soon discover exactly where everyone was. According to the writer of Genesis, it seems that the original game of hide and seek was between Adam, Eve and God. Back in Genesis 3, we read, the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord called, where are you? Now, did Adam and Eve really think they could hide in the trees and not be discovered? I guess they did. Let's read from that Psalm 139. We're going to read verses 1 through to 15. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, well, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Well, I wonder when the last time you tried to play hide and seek with God. Just like it was easy for me to find the giggling, fidgeting children. So, of course, we can't possibly hide from God. No tree cover is thick enough, as Adam and Eve discovered. But as David, who wrote this psalm, understands there really is nowhere we can go to escape or hide from God. He sees all things. He's never caught off guard, as we heard back on Monday. He never sleeps. He never takes his eyes off us. We know that, don't we? We know it. But we still try to hide ourselves away from him. I wonder, at the moment in your life or my life, is there an issue or a situation which we are trying to keep God away from, trying to hide from God? It's a, perhaps something that we're embarrassed about or something we're fearful of admitting in his presence. Something we're worried that he might call us to change, perhaps. Are we effectively doing an Adam and Eve and hoping against hope that God really can't see us? The truth is God has known us from before we were born. The truth is God knows everything about us. The truth is, there are no secrets. Nothing can be hidden from God. And actually, that really should be a comfort. Adam's reply to God was, I heard you in the garden and I was afraid. How sad was that? Well, the good news is that we don't need to be afraid of God. 
We need to f- approach him with fear and respect and all, but we don't need to be afraid of him. He is a God of mercy, compassion and forgiveness, a God who longs for the best for us. And there is nothing that we cannot bring to him. Nothing is hidden from him. So why do we waste time trying? Let me pray for us. Father, I thank you for the the gift of Psalms. And we've just looked at five this week, but I thank you for their variety, their honesty, their integrity. I thank you that they show us uh, people who are struggling and working out a relationship with you, Heavenly Father. And I thank you that we too can struggle and work out our relationship with you. That you long to hear from us honestly. You long to bless us, to give us fresh understanding. May we keep our eyes fixed on you. and May we find more and more treasures in these book of Psalms as we seek to be your followers. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. God bless you. Look up to the skies, see all that's displayed. The wonder of God in the things he has made. The sunsets and storms, the bright shining stars are showing his glory. Ship the